Okay, so I'm going to illustrate this will be number two from your textbook. And again, this is going to be a sigma known scenario for two sample uh, comparisons. And we know this because as you read the problem, they tell you that the population standard deviation for each of them is given. So they've already basically given you the null and the alternate. And of course, this is a one tell test. So over the side here, I'm going to go ahead and draw my curve. So we just to kind of emphasize that this is an upper tell test. And notice I'm just going to bring out some of the stuff from the problem. The alpha level is going to be uh, 0.08. <clears throat> okay. And so, you know, obviously if this area is alpha, which is 0 0.08, you got to get a critical Z value. And so just remember, you're really looking at 0.42 in your table. And that's going to be right about 1.41. So that'll be helpful, help, you know, help you with your uh, conclusion. And then to actually get the test stat, let me just kind of plug it into this formula. Again, I'm referring to your sigma known formula for two samples where the population standard deviation is known. So what I basically do is you take 2.67, which if you read the problem, that's going to be the sample mean for population one minus 2.59. So that's going to be our numerator divided by, then this is the weird one. You got to kind of plug all this in. So you got 0.75 squared divided by 65 plus 0.66 squared, divide that by 50, and this again is given in the problem. And then if you plug all that in, you're gonna get a test stat that's right around 0.61. And then obviously you would compare that to this tail, I'm gonna draw the line there. And so obviously this will be a do not uh, reject HO because it's not in a rejection area. And then to get the p-value, you'd have to look this number up in your z table and you'll get your p-value is equal to it's going to be 0 0.50 minus 0 0.2291 so you'll get 0 0.2709 is that less than or equal than alpha that's no that's false that's not true because alpha is 0 0.08 so again you still get the same conclusion do not reject the null